so we've just left Silhouette Cafe and now we're going to head to another cafe yeah. called Thanks Nature. All right. We've had the best time getting to know each yeah. other. <laughs> right? Yeah. If you have any more questions for me, you uh, can ask me at the next I'll cafe. Let me think about it. Yes. But well, I am going to surprise uh, Kaya with the next <gasps> cafe. Oh, really? Lucy, yeah. I have a little surprise for you there. Okay, okay. okay. I'm looking on, forward to it. Let's go. <laughs> Where the next cafe we're going? No, not really. <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> what is you're, it? You're in for a surprise. Yeah, okay. Oh my god, that's not look lovely. Ah! <laughs> Can you hear it? <laughs> oh, oh my god. <laughs> so, wow. this is the next cafe. That's why okay. it's called Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, they're so cute. Okay, come on, let's go. Okay. Oh. Yes, hi! Oh. I can't wait to hug you, you know? Right, so. Let's go and pet it. After being here for three months, like, tell me how it's like adapting, moving here. Well, obviously it's definitely challenging. So yeah. Obviously, you know, from a big trip, when you actually think of settle that, settling, settling, settling down, yeah, settling down yeah. to another country, it's not just like being tourists. Yeah. So you need to think more about oh, how I'm gonna make friends, how I'm gonna yeah. find jobs, yeah. how I'm gonna make you know like really, really nice connection as well. Yeah. So for me, because. First of all, I'm Muslim. Mm -hmm. I also like approach first the mosque. Oh, the, you know, for, yeah, the mosque. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the mosque. So is that know. the first place you went yeah, to kind yeah, of find? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The, actually, like my in my it trips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In my trips back four years ago, mm -hmm. the first day I touched Korea, I'm like, I need to visit the mosque. Oh, so this was the first okay. thing. So I need, I did the same again. Yeah, I just yeah. came back to the mosque and you know make meaningful connection mm -hmm. as well with the Muslim community because yeah. they could be the only one that could relate. Yes. Because you know we. we if, Definitely. Different lands. Yeah, we are, we are right. all from different lands, yeah. but we all have the same belief. So, yeah. Uh, if somebody asks you, like on your Instagram, what do they have to prepare? You know, as a Muslim mm -hmm. moving to Korea, like what advice would you give them? Like, it's really challenging regarding, especially the food. Okay. You really must give, just be careful about that. Okay. Like, honestly, I didn't know Korea was so much pork loving country <laughs> you have okay. to be careful of everything that oh, go in your okay. food okay all right what what else would you share let's say mm. i am interested to move here like what are yeah. the things you need to know because coming as a tourist like me yeah. it's different to actually living yeah, here yeah. right and also you know like you must also realize oh if hello <laughs> hey, hi cuties. i have something for you <laughs> you want to join our conversation <laughs> <laughs> This is really an experience. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sorry, yeah, continue. Yeah, as well, also, you know, like else, let's say if you want to find a job, if the job you're looking for yeah. also require, you know, you to speak the language. Yeah. Ah, That's also a criteria. Okay. Because, okay. you know, a lot of companies, they only want, you know, English speaking, speaking country, English speaking yeah. colleagues or yeah. employee. But for some jobs, let's say, you know, project <laughs> management. Oh, you want tea. Yeah. You want to have apple juice? <laughs> I wonder if he speaks Korean. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. I mean, he's Korean. He's born here. So. He's born here. <laughs> so you're saying that there are some jobs you need to learn you only Korean? Need, you only need to speak English as but, a foreigner. Okay. And all the jobs you need to speak Korean. You must master yeah. the language. Oh, so I guess there are also opportunities for people who Ex don't speak exactly, Korean. Exactly. had a nice time exploring another neighbourhood yeah. and I think we are ready for one last cafe so we can have our last chat for the day because yeah. it's coming to the end of the day guys and I have to let uh, Kaya go home but oh. <laughs> for now we're going to go explore one more cafe come with us hey, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, come. Notice walking here, there's a lot of bars as well, right? Yeah. So I'm gonna assume that the culture here is like 
because you work right in yeah. the business district, the corporate world. Yeah. Do you ever get invited like to drink after work? I, I think I am quite uh, blessed, thank God. I don't, I'm not in a comp like a big you know big Korean company. Oh, okay. Otherwise, okay. I would have have to face cultural things. Yeah. So yeah. if I, let's say if I were in a really big Korean company, like Korean yeah. Korean. I would, they are, they have the drinking culture. Yeah. So let's say the boss, you know, you end you end your work at six p.m. Yeah. The boss say, let's have a drink. You know, let's have yeah, dinner. Yeah, yeah, that's so common, you start, right? Yeah, you start yeah. from having dinner, and then when the boss pour you drink, you must drink it. Oh, it's hard to say no. You you you, you cannot say no. Do you have any friends who go yeah, through that do. Muslim yeah, friends? Yeah, 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 yeah. They have to oh, like non okay. the non-Muslim friends. They have to go through okay, that. Okay. And if they say no, you know, it's really considered rude hmm. because you say you, you say no to your elders or you know to yeah. your superior yeah. in work. So. so I guess that's something for yeah, people to consider. Yeah, but it's more it's more hard for men. Man, like my, my boss, he's a French here, living yeah. here, he also yeah. worked in a Korean company before yeah. and he said for men it's really difficult to say no but mm. for women they say it's acceptable. I see. It's acceptable to just say no because yeah. you're a woman so yeah. it's fine. Yeah. So, so wow, I'm okay. quite lucky. I so Alhamdulillah, have, you're yeah, in the company I don't have to go through like yeah. the drinking because obviously it's alcohol, mm. you know, yeah. it's not non-drinking. Yeah. <laughs> so you know like I think you have a really clear direction in terms yeah. of what you want to do with your career. Yeah, yeah. Do you think like thinking of a Muslim woman, you know, having big goals and a career, like what would you advise them in terms of just going for it? Dream higher. Just dream, dream. you know, dream and dream dreams are good. Yeah. But you know, you must make them. Yeah. Realize them. That's and once cool. you realize them it's not a dream anymore. Yeah. It just become part of your life. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> that's true. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Yeah. That. Uh, I always remember what my Chinese teacher used to tell me in okay. high school. Yeah. She said, you know, set your goals really high. Mm. You know, you won't like you know reach them or you yeah. know like you know take them out yeah. on your list. Yeah. But at least you will anyway end it up better than where you were before. Oh, so yeah. this is what she told me, that's and I true. really believe that. Yeah. And Definitely want to share this. Because I think sometimes we like as women we kind of doubt ourselves, yeah, right? We do, and we do. I hope people will be inspired by you because you know, <laughs> you just went for it, you yeah. know, you work, you saved your money, yeah. you went to pursue your career here yeah. and yeah, thanks, you've inspired me too. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Kaya. Thank you, you inspire yeah. me too. <laughs> Alright guys, we've come to the end of the day. I hope you guys have enjoyed the stories that Kaya has shared. Yeah. It's inspired you in some way. We are so happy to end our day here at yeah. Coco, Coco Mood. Mood. It's called Flower and Cafe in case you guys are wondering. I love yeah. flowers. Yeah, so do I. So it's like the perfect ending for today. Yeah. We can't wait to see you guys in the next episode. So see you guys soon. Salam